I joined Guestless in 2010 as a volunteer peer educator, and by then I was shy. I was like, don't have that self-esteem to talk. I don't believe I can do it. So it was too restless that the build my self-esteem make me to realize that I can do it. Ten or more years now, it has been amazing working with restless development. I started as a volunteer peer educator. And for me, having been in the urban area for, I would say by then, all of my life, that was the biggest opportunity given to me to move to a rural community where I have never been. For the first time, I moved out of Freetown Capital for a training in Kenema, and then I moved to Pujan, where I worked for eight months, uh, which actually transformed my life and gave me a sense of purpose, um, a purpose that changed um, the conversation around young people, and around HIV and AIDS and sexual and reproductive health, and around taking responsibility for communal development issues. <music> Through a friend, uh, I became part of Restless, you know, going through the interview of Restless. And all of a sudden, the opportunity that I was looking out for, the opportunity to build a career, the opportunity to learn about um, um, development, the opportunity not only to look at the concepts that you've studied in the university, but that is how you're going to practically put things in order to change lives. And I got that opportunity from Restless. I was taken from here in Freetown and sent to a place called Kalangba for about ma eight months. It was one of the most amazing period of my life until now. I'm doing some great strategic work now, but if I look at the foundation, I would want to say that foundation came from this organization called Restless Development. That opportunity ever since my volunteer period Immediately, I completed that period. My life changed. As a volunteer, I went to the community where I was able to talk with stakeholders. We did a baseline survey. We also did um, community mapping. We did um, presentation of evidence to the community people based on the information they gave us. At first, let me be sincere, I never knew how to do those things. But when I um, started doing this volunteer job, it really widened up my knowledge. It made me to have, like, let me say, a deeper thinking. You know, building capacities of these young people to, like, take the forefront of uh, change and develop. It was, like, very good. I have gained a lot from Restless. Um, starting my career as a volunteer peer educator, and before even I entered university, I started with Restless. And I gained communication skills, management skills, especially managing young people and working in, on strategic issues in terms of managing finances, in terms of managing the entire region. These are all skills that I have gained with Restless. I did a lot of facilitation, and doing those facilitation, I was able to improve my skill, how to communicate, I did a lot of community mobilization because I have to do some awareness raising events where I have to call stakeholders to meet in and discuss issues affecting the girls, issues around domestic violence. I did a lot of training and it was those experiences that I used to got my first job just from volunteering with SCAR, Centre for Accountability and Rule of Law. I've gained a lot. The shopping list is full. One of it I've got is um, the sense of realization of who I am and what I want to be. It gives me that clear pathway. And secondly, it, it created the platform for me to contribute to both national and global development strides because I... Uh... Can you imagine I started off as a volunteer and now I am an assistant program coordinator. It exposed me to doing things that I never used to do before like mobilizing communities, working with key community stakeholders, 
building the young people, trying to guide the young people to make them meaningful and useful in their communities. I think that was one thing that was really great. I've also acquired the skill of being bold because you cannot do volunteerism without being bold on, I mean, how to stand in front of people and talk to them. You see a huge sum of people standing in front of you. You really need to be bold to pass on the message very well. Because if you see you are timid or panic, you won't be able to pass on the message very well. You have to be bold so that the people will get the clear um, meaning or the clear importance of why the project came to their community. Unity to empower young people. The objective of this body is to bring the end of gone through several cadres in restless development, served as a manager, as a coordinator twice, as a field officer, as a volunteer, as an intern. So come on, my experience has grown. The David you knew in 2006 is not the David anymore. I can write a whole project, I can manage a whole project. I can even manage restless development. Well, as Abide, I know we get a lot of experience, but as I don't come in the field work at the work, I don't get a lot of experience, but community people, they have for handle there, waiting for do we go make they go turn up, and uh, what skills are you for use, where go make, they go able for cooperate. So I learned a lot for more volunteer. I get new ideas, and what I guess why not they ever get, so I'm glad for that. Inside the week, they for feed me picking and free for two days. Now them primary school. Spell a woman go grind them picking well, but you wanna free the free healthcare. Bola survivors for continue, forget them. So we the people who sabi, who sabi. So I meet with the SLS from the from 2016 as one girl picked me up so and me na person be I'm not be know me right care. I be they say I want to go be an engineer, but I not look say if engineer and a marketable something at least we count it. But when they call it training, they begin and uh, teach me about um how to choose a career and any other thing else. So I able now for decide say no, I not go be engineer. The reason being because you know marketable at least we count it. So now I go be medical doctor. Like I not be savvy how for do business. Then teach me about business and segmentation. They say you not go do business. Usai granny, then they, you go begin by skin tight, the go tan it. No, you not correct. For that knowledge and they all have been lack of. But now I don't get any knowledge and they all. For me, restless development as a noble organization kinda of me, me life. My life don't change. Now I'm not able to choose my career. Easy one and problem no day.